All right, guys, we're going to be testing DLSS 2.4.6 in eight games. I'm going to show them here. Feel free to skip around the video or, you know, just watch the whole thing through. That'd be awesome. So let's get right into it. I'm going to show you here that I am running the latest drivers with my 3080 Ti. First game we're going to look at is Red Dead Redemption 2. See if there's any differences. Now, I am doing a comparison with the original DLSS that comes with the game and then updating it to 2.4.6 this time. Pay close attention to the power lines there. You can still see the streaking that goes on on both versions. It's slightly better on 2.4.6. The original DLSS version that comes with Red Dead has terrible over sharpening and it affects the hair. You can see it here. Hair would have like crawling, like jagged lines. It just looked terrible. And it bothered me, especially when riding the horse around playing the game with DLSS on. Although it is less noticeable on 4K, I'm just gonna throw that out there. On my channel, you're gonna find some useful videos for DLSS. Like I have this one tool. Um, it's the DLSS exposure tool for Red Dead developed by Alex, um, username Alex on Reddit. But it helps with that over sharpening that you get and he dulls it down. Frame rate is also slightly better and getting more frames in certain scenes with the latest DLSS. So video RAM is slightly lower as well. Next game we're going to be looking at is Control. Control had DLSS 2.1 as its original and I updated it to 2.4.6 and what I'm noticing is the cutscenes are fine. Okay, I'm going to show you a couple cutscenes in the beginning. There's no issues with the cutscenes. They look identical. But when you get to like playing the game, like during gameplay, that's when the issues pop up. And it's a pretty bad one. I, I would steer clear from 2.4 or anything above what it already comes with because it messes up the game's rendering for some reason. Like right here, pay close attention to the 2.4.6. It's all, her face is all pixelated. And I noticed this because Everything was a lot more blurrier than it should be. Uh, I don't know. It's just, it's just strange. I've never seen it before. Then again here, it's just another cutscene, And from my eyes, I don't see any differences in it at all. Slightly blurrier on uh, 2.4.6. Part here, I was trying to see if there was any weird you know, the DLSS streaking that you would get, or ghost trails, they would call it. I didn't see anything on these humanoid things. All right, we're going to be moving on to one of my favorite games that I just finished, Metro Exodus, and it's the Enhanced Edition one with ray tracing. It's a beautiful game, especially with ray tracing. At first, I didn't notice much of a difference. This is just one of those games as well that doesn't have a sharpness slider for DLSS. But you'll see here, our frame rates are slightly higher on 2.4.6, just slightly at certain points of the game, more consistent. Like you see that frame rate drop right there, but it stayed steady on 2.4.6. Now keep an eye on the light post here. Uh, not that one, this one. On the left, you see slight streaking on there. It's completely gone on 2.4.6. Yeah, on, on movement, you can see a lot more, especially on leaves and stuff. Uh, see it right here as well. And then it's completely gone on 2.4.6. Another part where you'll see issues with DLSS on Metro Exodus is with the birds flying around or enemies from a distance. And you can see the, you can obviously see the streaks on there on that bird on the left. On the right, it's completely gone. Not com well, actually not completely gone. You'll see it slightly, but not noticeable while playing a game like on the original DLSS that this game comes with. Yeah, it's much improved. 
moving on to another one of my favorite titles death stranding or the ups simulator everything looks beautiful the only issue i would say is just the streaking that you can get on the rocks that are floating up uh, while you're driving on highways and stuff you can see it here it's less on 2.4.6 it's still there but it's less same results as metro exodus Next game we're going to be taking a look at is Doom Eternal, one of my favorite games as well. And you'll check out the settings here that I'm using. Now I tried to find any issues, so I slowed down the footage here, but there are no ghost trails that I can see from these floating rocks in space. It looks great. getting a slight i would say just very slight increase on the fps but nothing too major uh ram video ram usage is higher as you can see from the msi afterburner up the top left i would also say that the crawling that you see the crawling this the jagged line crawling is, is slightly less on 2.4.6 this is just another game that has a sharpness slider so you can adjust it the way you like which i love all games need it with dlss doom eternal is such a beautiful game and with ray tracing it's just a cherry on top oh man but yeah not much difference between the two um and so you're fine we're just sticking with what you have no need to update doom eternals dlss moving on to the next game is the amazing god of war same thing dlss on quality 1440p another gorgeous title i'm trying to get the same you know same scenes sort of <laughs> Could have did cutscenes, but I wanted to do gameplay for this game. Anyways, I didn't see much of a difference in this one. Uh, God of War added a sharpness filter, so that helps with you know any issues. No ghosting and trailing. That actually got fixed on the latest 2.3 that they already to, so looks great. No need to update. Oh man. Deep Rock Galactic is the next game we'll be taking a look at. Fun game, fun game. I tried to get this same, you know, walk-in and stuff, but it was, I was finding it hard to do. So just bear with me. I'm trying to line up the videos best I can. Not much of a difference between the two. The original DLSS looks fine. Uh, 2.4.6 I'm not seeing much of an improvement this has a sharpness slider as well so you can adjust it to the way you like I tried to see if there was any oddities or ghosting or streaking on the rocks here and they both look great both look good no issues and not much of a difference Ramps higher. Video ramps higher. Definitely. <laughs> and the last title we're going to be taking a look at is Cyberpunk 2077. DLSS on quality again. 1440p. Another beautiful game. I have it all maxed out with ray tracing. And I'm just going to walk through the district here. From my testing, I didn't see much of a difference between the two again. And this is just another title that has a sharpness filter where you can adjust it to the way you like. More sharpness, less sharpness. Thing with DLSS that I want to throw out there is that it's always going to look better with higher resolution, especially at 4K, 4K hair will look a hundred times better. DLSS still has work to do with 
rendering hair at a lower resolution and upscaling it. But everything else looks great, like textures and stuff like that. Hair is where it struggles with, and I'm gonna show you here with the bartender clear. Zooming in so it's making it look worse. From far away, it looks it looks all right. But pay attention to the way she's moving. You'll see how it her, it would streak in the background behind her a little bit. Again, not 100% noticeable while playing the game. But yeah. I also want to thank my new viewers and subscribers to the channel. You guys are awesome. It's pushing me to want to keep making videos. So leave comments and stuff. If you want to see me analyze different games i got more tips coming out as well you check out my next video right here check you out in the next one peace